pandas value counts. Now, pandas value counts is one of my favorite functions in the pandas family because you get to learn a lot about your data for relatively uh, no effort, relatively easy effort. Now, what pandas value counts will do is it will look at the unique values within your series and count how many times those unique values appear. So basically, you get a distribution of the frequency of values that you have within your series. You can also pass a data frame and it'll look at your rows. Let's check it out. So first thing that I'll do is I'll import pandas as PD, and then I'm gonna create a data frame. Now this data frame is going to be a list of transactions that happens at restaurants in San Francisco. And as you can see here, this first one would be foreign cinema, then I have Liho Liho, and Liho Liho actually appears multiple times, as well as a few other restaurants. So what I wanna do is I wanna understand, well, how many times does Liho Liho appear versus how many times does 500 Club appear? And in order to do this, I'm gonna call value counts. Now, what you'll see here is I have my data frame, I'm calling a specific column, which is the name column, and then I'm gonna be calling value counts on top of that. And as you can see, I get the distinct values that appear within the name column and how many times each one of those distinct values appears. So I can see pretty easily that Liho Liho appears three times, okay? Now, as you can see, it's default, it sorts in the most frequent to the least frequent values. But if I wanted to flip this, then I could just call ascending equals true, and that'll start at the lowest and work up to the highest. So I get the same exact values, except Salzburg up at the top here is up at the top because it only appears once, whereas Liho Liho is at the bottom because it appears the most. Now, say instead, I didn't wanna know how many times each one uh, appeared within the data set, I wanted to know how frequent was this value within the entire data set or compared to the entire data set. In order to do this, I'm going to set normalized equals true. And let's run this and see what we get. And now we get percentages. And if you summed this up, you'd see that it's, it's summed up to one. So this tells you the relative frequency that each value appears. Another way to read this is Liho Liho appears at uh, 33% of the time within our data set. And this is because there's nine values in our data set and Liho Liho appears three times. So three divided by nine. However, say that instead of a set of labels that you have, you actually have a continuous variable, maybe random numbers or uh, a number frequency. Um, well, what you can do here is if you tried calling value counts on this, it would separate all the little uh, individual variables because they're technically different from each other. But say you wanted to group those variables together that are close to each other. Well, you could use bins in this case. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to import uh, NumPy and I'm going to create a list of random numbers and put that into a data frame. So here, what you see is I have a data frame with one column, it's called random, and a uh, list or a series of 10 random numbers. If I called value counts on this, I would just get each one appearing once, which is not what I want but rather I wanna group these numbers into different bins and count how many times each number appears in one of those bins. In order to do that, I will call my data frame, I will call the column, which is random, and I'm gonna call value counts again, but this time I'm gonna say bins equals three. And what this will do is value counts will split my data into three different groups and tell me how many times does each value appear in one of those groups, okay? So let's take, go ahead and look at this. And as you can see, let's look at this group on the bottom. Pandas has made a group from 0.562 to 0.356. And it looks like there are three rows in this series that fall in between 0.562 and 0.356. On the flip side of that, it looks like there's four rows that appear between 0.653 and between 0.951. Now, in this case, all we said was to pandas is we want three bins. But what if, for example, you wanted to set your own bins? Well, you can do this. You just need to pass a list of values that separate out your bins. And so to show you this, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, do that. So we have our random numbers data frame. We have our column within that data frame. And I'm going to call value counts. 
Now for bins, instead of providing it just with one number, I'm actually gonna provide it with a list of values. And what's cool is that pandas will create a bin um, between each pair of these list of values. So to put that another way, we'll have one bin that's zero through 0.2, we'll have another bin that's 0 0.2, 0 0.2 through 0 0.6, and then we'll have a third bin, which is 0.6 through one. Let's go ahead and run this. And that's exactly what we get. And we can see that now we have five of those rows appear between 0.6 and 0.1. So this is super helpful when you want to create your own bins and do a value counts on top of that. So that is value counts from pandas.